I was hoping for a handy day today. It's not gonna happen. I'll give you a look at a wee job. Is after landing into the yard. It's a big old vintage machine, a Ford 7A10. This never looks good when the forklift is on the go. So here's the main operator here, young Shawnee here. So he's after landing here with a zero grazer and the main ram here that pulls in the drawbar. This is what we're looking at. So the end broke off the ram. Now I have it all cleaned up. Have a look at this. So it has broken this bolt here. I'll just push up this one. Get up. So this is the kind of bolt that's in there. That's what holds this in position. But this is a regular occurrence. It's just shearing bolts. Now, when you think about it, a 16 mil bolt holding in the whole pressure of a zero graze or full of grass, you're asking it to do quite a bit. So I'm gonna modify this here. As you can see, the bush now, it's all cleaned up, ready to weld it on, but it's just gone oval from pure abuse and the plan was to weld it on here again and get a good weld on it and it might be okay but you see the holes are all they're all ovaled in that so i think the best thing to do is modify this and we're going to go a bit stronger we shall figure it out and see what we're going to do Sledge there, Shawnee. Huh? Get our wee sledge beside you. <laughs> and a kill a young gas in the queue, that thing. That's a beast of a thing, yeah. 14 pound sledge. Real man killer. An old 25 mil bit kind of came as a job lot with a chuck I bought. Never actually used it before. You'll just see me trying to put a bit of an edge on it. The angle was all around it. I'm not saying it's that much better, but it's vastly improved. A bit of an edge on it now. Um, and then these are the bosses. So that's the piece I'm gonna weld on the end of the ram. And these are the bosses, top and bottom, for the plates we're gonna weld. So we'll get them drilled here. We'll see how it goes. I don't think you've seen me using this before. This is an old Colchester Bantam lid. I actually bought this in the UK when I was working over there for a while. I got an offer of it. Uh, I give very, very small money. I think about the price of one sheep, we'll say, is what I give for that machine. And I uh, haven't used it a lot recently, but I used to use it a lot more. But it's a great little tool to have in the workshop here. So we'll see how it goes. 350 RPM is the recommended speed for 25 mil. So I just simply lay it up to the speed. I think that's it. So 
So we're on the three phase converter here. You'll hear me starting it up now if you're wondering what the first noise is.
So, to stop the pin, you see me putting the grease nipple in this part here. That's where you want the grease. So I just cut another boss, drilled it out, split it, and that'll stop the pin from spinning. I'll just drop them in here. Now, it's only when you get a look at this, when you have it cut out and you look at the bottom of it here, you see the extent of the wear in it. Where it was operating with a broken bolt, probably quite a lot of the time, and kicking a little bit left and right like that, but that is a vast improvement. Grease nipple and all, it can spin. There we go, another satisfied customer. That's a vast improvement on what it was. <coughs> Smoky baby, nearly as bad as the combo. <laughs> that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.